Hi, this is brief clinical consultation two. Topic is systemic sclerosis. First, we will look at the scenario and then proceed further. So, this is Mrs. Jacob. She is referred by her GP. Her main complaint is chronic ulcer on her fingertips, which are not healing. So, you have to think and then to proceed. So, first of all, starting with uh, introduction. So, uh, good morning, Mrs. Jacob. Am I right? My name is Dr. Riz. I am a medical doctor. I got some information telling that you have uh, some problem with your hands. Can you tell me more about your problem, please? So, how it has started? Was it started sudden or gradual? When you noticed first, is it happened before? At what age you have noticed this first? Do you think this problem is increasing afterwards? Is it affecting your one hand or both hand? Can I see where it is? Any other part of your body such as toes are affected also? Tip of your nose or tip of your uh, ear? Do you think that any particular time it's appear such as in the cold weather or you if you are hand are exposed to cold do you think it is associated with occupation do you think anything you have started recently and it is increasing such as smoking any new medication oral contraceptive pills any medication for headache any medication for your blood pressure okay and uh, any other thing have you noticed that the color of your hand get changed when exposed to cold first it's become white and then blue and then red any other things like skin tightness have you noticed any skin tightness and it's up to where so uh, so is it affecting only hand or also your face or any other part of your body can you open your mouth well do you have any problem inside your mouth any ulcer in your mouth any rash anywhere on your face or anywhere you have noticed any rash any problem in the swallowing do you feel that is difficult for you to swallow and anything like uh, you are feeling any acid test in your mouth any shortness of breath any chest pain any swelling in your leg have you noticed any change in your water work any frothiness in your water any other health issue you have any things before you have uh, diagnosed with such as rheumatoid arthritis SLE high blood pressure have you recently checked your blood pressure recently any idea about your blood pressure do you smoke or drink alcohol can you tell me about your job how it's affecting your life what kind of the support you have at home who, who is helping you do you have any problem opening the jar or uh, doing day-to-day -day activity H have you consulted any doctor before any diagnosis was made do you have any idea that's what is going on with you any concern you have do you have any question that is in your mind okay so in the history we have a cover uh, hand symptom precipitating factor also renal phenomenon sensory changes we have to ask how long it is any associated condition that may tell you that maybe this patient is having mixed connective tissue disorder dysphagia heartburn shortness of breath cough renal function next we are uh, drug history if the patient is taking any kind of the medication past medical history what about his uh, occupation and uh, also uh, smoking and alcohol uh, in examination then we will go to the examination we will look uh, start with the hand because this patient uh, is having problem with the hand so look for the any changes uh, such as uh, a smooth uh, skin and a shiny skin uh, and tight uh, skin that is causing a sclerodactyly uh, have to look for the any flexion deformity of the finger is there or not atrophy at the finger fingertips telling dilated capillary nail fold 
digital ulcerations, gangrenous fingers. So you have to look for whitish dermal papules, nodules, uh, plaque, uh, subcutaneous nodules. These things you have to look for. Then coming to the face, you have to look that, that the patient is able to open the mouth widely or not. Or what about the previous and now the opening size is decreased. Till injectasia, you have to look at the face, also inside the buccal, uh, inside the mouth, the buccal mucosa as well. Pinch nose, you have to look any butterfly rash or any joint problems also there or not. Then coming to the respiratory system, you have to look for the chest expansion. Any added sound is there or not? Crackles, fine inspiratory crackles, such as for the pulmonary fibrosis. Then pulmonary hypertension, you have to look for. Uh, any uh, pedal edema is there or not and also look for the JVP that it is increased or not. Then coming to the investigation you have to uh, first of all we have to determine whether it is uh, uh, benign conditions or it is a diffuse condition because uh, scleroderma it can be localized and or it can be diffuse. So the, this test uh, the anticentromere if positive it means it is localized so not to worry much. If the anti uh, um, antitropoisomerase SCL70 is positive, it means most likely it is a diffuse condition. So we have to think more uh, and more uh, investigation may be needed. So f you have to look at the full blood count, ESR as well. And if the chest is involved, you have to do the X-ray, CT, uh, also pulmonary function test as well. Then uh, we have, uh, if we are suspecting pulmonary hypertension we have to do 2D echo look for the evidence of the pulmonary hypertension if also urinalyzed analysis look for the any proteinuria or any other finding is there or not also look for the capillaroscopy for the dilatation of the nail fold capillary uh, GI endoscopy may be needed uh, also so in the history we have to ask about so what kind of the drug patient is on and is precipitating the uh, this problem Next, uh, I'm sorry. This uh, are the picture you can see here that uh, this uh, lady is uh, having uh, fixed flex deformity, not able to extend the finger. Also, there is the ulcer here and here. Also, calcinosis, the deposition of calcium. So that is, and this is uh, what we call the sclerodactyly. Um, and uh, looking uh, um, at the. Uh, uh, tip of the finger there is no uh, telling dictasia here not visible let us go to the next picture here uh, looking at the face you can find there is many spots reddish spot is there this is what we call the telling dictasia we have to look inside the buccal mu mm, buccal mucosa also inside the mouth also look at the nose also you can see there is just like a waxing over the face right so and uh, next coming to the treatment so a uh, starting treatment first of all we have to educate the patients look at the, the what c the exactly the reason for this uh, problem if it is a diffuse one may need further more uh, treatment uh, and uh, more uh, investigation also uh, we are starting with uh, if the patient is uh, having uh, uh, just affecting the hand then we can tell the patients to uh, avoid the cold temperature wear the layers of uh, um, uh, warm clothes and also uh, she can use uh, the socks and gloves sometime also use the uh, gloves with a battery which can uh, make uh, uh, hand warm also a smoking cessation is advised to the patient advised to use the emollient to keep the hand moist uh, and warm uh, and uh, then coming to the other uh, mm, uh, treatment option if it is a finger uh, ulcer is there the recommended treatment and the recent review literature is calcium channel blocker can be used and also we can use uh, prostanoids also we can use the tadalafil bone sentence so these are also the drug options for mm, we can use if the kidney is involved, we can use SA inhibitor or angiotensin 2 in, uh, inhibitor therapy is in indicated. Um, uh, other thing is uh, if the 
my patient is having a problem with uh, God or uh, uh, reflex.